Welcome back to the channel, everyone. How are we doing today? All right, today we are taking a trip to Maryland again, Chesapeake Bay, for some rockfish. <laughs> We have been invited by one of our followers, Jeff, and we're very excited to go out on his 22-foot judge today. Sweet little boat. We've been following him as well on Instagram, and we've kind of touched base and just chatted back and forth, and as we do on social media, you make friends all over the place. So we're becoming very fond of our friends from Maryland, clearly, but we're going to head over to uh, Eastern Shore, Maryland here, not even Eastern Shore, I guess, Chesapeake Bay. Cambridge, Maryland area and see if we can get on some rockfish. He's been catching monsters out there. We'd love to come home with some some uh, stripers or some rockfish to eat, but we'll see what the day entails. Just want to say very excited, heading to Maryland. Gonna bring you guys some stripers today. Enjoy. All right guys, this is gonna be our chariot for the day. Beautiful Judge 22, what a sweet ride. Yeah, we get to ride on some nice boats. I gotta tell you, guys, this is nice. Chariot. Got the beanbag chair up front. We gotta get our speaker system put in, buddy. Um, what's the biggest fish you've caught? Yeah. 48 inches long. I haven't beat 48 inches yet, but I've probably caught six 48 inches. Two of them this year. Pretty cool. All right, guys, so we're getting going out here. What part of, what body of water are we on? This is Cato Creek. We're gonna leave Cato Creek here, get into the Road River, and then quickly into the bay. Okay. And then we're gonna run south. South, we're gonna run about 40 minutes. We're gonna go at least to Chesapeake Beach and probably a little further south, depending okay. on the weather. So we got, Jeff was saying, we have like a 45 minute run down. These stripers move back down towards the bay and out, obviously. The bigger ones are just all, I mean, all of them are So local. basically all these fish that are coming into the bay, they come in the spawn and then they leave. So this time of year, the farther south you can be, that's more spawning rivers you can be south of for potential fish to be exiting okay. to go back out into the ocean. And we do this, you guys, not for everybody that knows what's going on. If you guys know this stuff, go ahead and fast forward. It's just for everybody who might want to do this one day or get out here and learn the system and how these stripers move and why guys go so far what they do. All right, so we're gonna get, put this baby in gear and uh, get rocking. I'm putting a sweatshirt on. We are at the hunting grounds. That's right, we only took one wave over the bow and it was a good one. So, keep us running out. What are we gonna do, Jeff? Well, first thing we gotta do is we gotta get the planter boards out. These are the big white triple board things that we have in the back. What that does is it allows us to um, feel like a bigger boat even though we're a smaller boat. It allows us to get, we're gonna run five rods off of each board. As we get them going, we'll, we'll explain more as we go. Kinda acts like a water first, first planter in. Couple different baits, y'all. White and yellow. Yeah, he won. We can fire that one up right here. Okay, just keep us on this line. Look. Looks tasty. I need it. Mm, <laughs> sounds like something I said. So that's a six and a three ounce bucktail or parachute or whatever you want to call them. So I'm going to set this back nine bars, nine times. Eight feet is 72 feet, is that, is that okay. right now? So yep. 72 feet behind the bay. So that's going to be 10 feet deep. Okay. Yeah. So we, don't, we could fish this rod like this, right? Right behind the boat, right there. But we couldn't fish very many rods. They would start to tangle up and get on top of each other. But by using the planer board, you hook the line to this clip. Now the rod goes down the line. And now we're gonna be 120 feet wide compared to what we were before. So how many clips are you gonna put out? We'll put five on each board. Five on each board, so 10 lines, bud. Times two lures each, 20 chances. Yep, just on those. Just on those. 
So we're getting the rods uh, out. You guys know we love the pens. We're running the pen 330 GT. Okay. Looks like about you, 50 pound mono on there. Pound mono. On these, this was 40 pound mono. 40 pound mono. Not a bad guess. All right, see, so guys, we learn something new every day. Even, I just learned something new, what a bar was. Now, I don't troll much, so I don't know a bar. So a bar, guys, if you don't know, Jeff just explained, is when you're setting your depth, every time this bar goes across the reel, one, two, three, four, five, and we're going out seven bars right now? Yeah, between seven and nine bars. Seven depending. and nine bars. All right, so that's what we got going on. See, you can teach an old dog new tricks real all right so b's getting to set these rods out here counting how many bars you got six bars on that one getting right. these planers set out it's a production guys it's a lot of work to get these planers out here in all the hopes that you're just going to catch up with a monster a monster rockfish we don't call them straight past in this boat <laughs> all right the last two rods y'all with the deeper rods we're running center of the boat. 28 and then ounces of lead on there. 28 ounces of lead, umbrella rig. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight teasers and eight. a bait. Eight teasers and a three ounce, that's what, two ounce, three six ounce? ounce? Another six? Yeah. And six ounce on the bottom. That's a rig. Especially what we're used to. We're not used to any of this stuff, so it's super cool for us to see it, learn it. Oh, no, Rio sunglasses back on. You don't realize how bright it is when you take these shades off. But, so that's that center line right there. I'm gonna let go so I can keep driving. You crank when you can. Good, I can take over if you need to. You need to get some gown on them. There you go, crank. It could be a small one though, B. <laughs> I'll let you do that for a little bit now we'll take over just don't lose it well he'll keep tension on him that's for 38 sure 38 feet of water see the whole fleet's over there they're in 60 mm -hmm. it just makes sense this time of year you got a crank here there we go bees on let me see you sure I think we lost nope he's still on there How'd you hear that thing running? I just heard it. I heard a different. I heard a different sound. I don't know what you that you want to help him, and I can I'll drive. Yeah, that's all I said. All right, you got it. Yeah. Worry about cranking. Oh, 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 you feel him going? <laughs> oh, son. Hey, you worked for that one, man. <laughs> Way to go, Cap. <laughs> Holy moly. 
You gotta be kidding me with that thing. <laughs> Holy mackerel. That one's going on the board. Hey, is that your biggest rockfish? Oh yeah. What do you think? Is that hard? No, uh, that's tiring. <laughs> All right, let's see. I, I didn't even hear that thing go off. I a small one for out here? Well, I, you what, I would say there's nice a lot of people with today that didn't get a 37 incher. 37 incher. Is that a keeper? That? Oh yeah, we got a keeper. Yay. He gets to keep all the meat though. No, you take this home. <laughs> Check it out guys. Our first trolling rockfish. Hopefully another one doesn't go off. Here, right. and he's 36. Get in there with your, he's 37. 37 inches, Hold on. Come on in here, bud. Tag team effort for everybody. Got it now? Put your hand over the top. Up there. Look at me. Good job. Guys, this is a stud. <laughs> I thought my 33 was a stud. This thing's, whoo, <laughs> awesome. Thanks, Cap. Look at that compared to Brooks. Y'all, B, hey, look up. B, B, look up. Hold on. I'm about to drop him. Look at the head on that thing, dude. That thing's <laughs> as big as my head. Mine, you. Goodness. Yeah, you hold him, bud. Oh, I can't lift that thing up at all. Yeah, you can. Did you? Woo! That's what we talk about, baby. Hi, yeah. That's right. You look fierce. Y'all. Y'all, seriously. You see that fish? You see that fish? Whenever you walk up there, it might be like, I'm like, Yeah, I think I stick to my little dripping. So awesome. It was out of nowhere like that, y'all. It was like that. Jeff heard it. I didn't even hear it. I'm so, how hard was that, dude, to uh, reel? Yeah, I could barely even reel. It was tough, different, wasn't it? I couldn't even hold, well, I could hold the rod, but I just couldn't get it all the way under with this this thing. It was, it, this was already under there, so I couldn't get it down in. You cut your hand up? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. All right, y'all, so Jeff and I were just talking about how we can never, we can never get good videos. When everybody says how rough it is out, of what it looks like when we're out here. So we're gonna film this and see what you guys think. Does this look rough to you? This is from the gunnel. All right, we got our afternoon update. Captain's log, 32, five. Fish are not cooperating. We got the one, didn't we? Right? But we're battling four or five foot throw, and now it's four to five. Two to three, four foot swells, white caps. Yeah, it makes it hard to fish where we want to fish. Yeah, we can't move around as much as we want to move around just because the conditions aren't right. You, know, you guys know that if you boat, you got to work with what you got. But we're having fun. We're talking about a lot of things, just chit-chatting and having a great time. Sometimes that's what it's all about. It's not all about the fishing, even though Jeff, I'm sure, would disagree. Man, what's the fish in the boat? Ooh, see, we had a, almost had a wave come right over the boat on us. You guys can't tell how rough it is, but we're making the best of it, having fun. We're gonna get another fish in here. We will have another fish. These are the marks we're showing, guys. Just little marks like this, nothing big, nothing crazy. So, so that's Some a big fish. fish. Yeah, These yeah, fish are do. sitting down. They're pretty, these fish are sitting pretty deep. All right, we might have something on here. All right. So what Jeff did is just pop this line off one of the clips. Could have something small on here. This may be debris, but it's worth really yeah. in. Oh. Gotta get it off whatever's on there anyway, right? Yep. Oh, if it's pulling, it's a fish. It's not debris. You know, that could be a stick. Yeah, it could true. Be anything. Like he said, it was putting tension on the clip. You can yeah. see it looks different. There ain't no fish on that thing. Or is there? Uh, it's probably just debris. <laughs> Big horseshoe. What are you laughing? Horseshoe laughing. crab. Horseshoe crab. Henry reeled in two sticks this year. My youngest. 
Who the heck is this? But it was definitely not. Oh, there's a fish on there. <laughs> Maybe not. I think it's a fish. Just yep, it's, it's a, a fish. fish. It's a zinker. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna reel it. What the? <laughs> Here, I'll take the rod. Wait, no, can Here, I grab it? I want to grab it, Dada. You're not gonna go grab it. You can grab the other one. Oh, that's smaller. Get him in. Get him in. I'll do this. Get there him in the go. boat. Oh, that's keeper. No, it's not. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> probably. Thirty inches. <laughs> Maybe. But Maybe, but it's a fish. <laughs> My camera down at the floor. I mean, What's up, y'all? I just got one. We thought it was a stick. We didn't know what it was. Jeff had the inclination. You saw it. <laughs> he thought something was up. And that's what was on the other end of the line. <laughs> okay, we got this one on the main hook, though. These hooks are no joke. That's why you don't use barbs in catch and release season. Is there a trick to get out? That's not being a. Okay, good. It's not just me. It was in there pretty good. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, that's. Look at the chub. Point down. Twenty-nine and a half inches. Hey, Saturday has a nice fish. All right, guys, we're gonna let this, let this beautiful little girl go. Twenty-nine and a half incher. We are three days away from being able to keep this fish, but. There she goes. Get on back down to the depths. Yeah, we got two. <laughs> got a wet sleeve too. That rod was kind of weird. That was weird. I mean, Jeff literally, oh, look, you literally that, said something's I'm, weird with that. I'm, I was saying, you could tell that that one rod was just, it wasn't a uniform pool on the line. Right. You could see one was distinctly different. Right. So I didn't know if it was a small fish or if it was a stick. We've caught a We thought it was a stick until about 10 feet out. Yeah. And then I was like, something pulled on this thing. This is pretty big here. That was cool. I'm glad there was something on there. So there we go, two fish in the boat. And what he was talking about is that the outrigger line is usually pretty pretty taut. And that one clip was sticking out further. But it wasn't moving. The fish was just swimming with it. So it wasn't big enough to pop the clip. It wasn't big enough at 29 and a half inches. That's what's crazy, y'all. That's what it takes to pull these clips off of these lines. So like Jeff was saying, when you you get a fish on one of these outriggers, you're gonna know it because it's gonna pull it off. Calling it a day. It is getting rougher and rougher. You can probably see behind me as the waves start to crash over the back of the boat. It's a little rough, but we caught two fish. And that's two more fish that we caught that we didn't have when we came out here today. Super excited. We got to learn something new with trolling. A little bit about that. Got to hang out with, got to hang out with Jeff on his sweet boat. Nice Judge 22. It's a pretty little boat. And yeah, got some big rocks. For us, big rocks. So funny story, y'all, we're driving by here really quick. I know the engine's loud, sorry, but I came down here and got with Jeff today and we're going out and didn't even realize, I did see on the map at the last minute, right here behind me, I grew up my parents sailboat at Shady Side, right there. So it's a small world, people you meet, where you end up, it all comes full circle. Pretty cool. All right guys, we are back in the slip here. We've had our fun for the day. The waves have kicked our butt. The wind has tore us up. We had a good time. So Jeff, we appreciate it. Thanks Great for having time, us man. In. Yeah, Thanks man, and you're welcome anytime our way, obviously. I'd but, love to uh, come out. Yeah, it was. Uh, we always love meeting subscribers, followers, and just friends we meet through other people. On you know, it is weird online. It's like online fish dating, <laughs> right? It's weird. You're gonna make my wife jealous. All right, yeah, ladies, <laughs> ladies, you know we love you. <laughs> Don't get the wrong idea. <laughs> just the fish love. All right, well we appreciate it. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank Can't you wait till the next time. Yeah, appreciate awesome. it. Boy, y'all. Oh, of course, the sun's gonna cooperate. Yeah, we'll see how an expert does this. A guy who's out here all the time who catches 
Well, he doesn't really keep the 50 inchers, but he catches them. Yeah, I don't keep too many of those big ones. They got to go back to spawn so that my kid and your kid can catch them down the road. Yeah, that's a good point. We didn't even talk about that. We were talking about it by ourselves. It's like a perfect size fish. There's 30 or 35 inchers, right? 36, yeah. you know, eater because in this case, from Jeff's experience, it's a male. It's in there just cruising around, ready to be eaten. It's not a female. We're not taking any eggs out of the population. So we're going to enjoy it thoroughly. The size of the scales on that fish. That's a big fish, y'all. That's Brooks's PB right there. New PB for Brooks. Tell you what, it kind of makes me feel like bad. Like, that's a good host right there, Jeff. It, not only did he take us out and let us catch fish in rough water, he's cleaning the fish for us. <laughs> like, how lucky are we? Thank you very much for cleaning that. You're very welcome.